Hello, this is Walter Smith with uh, Walter's Glass Half Full this week. Now, Blues, it's not hard to be positive this week. A 6 0 hammering of QPR. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I don't know if that makes you giddy, because it certainly made me giddy. But we have to look at some of those negative Nellies on YouTube this week and respond with a bit of positivity. Chelsea aren't your rivals. Your rivals are clubs like Stoke, West Ham, Sunderland, Liverpool. All small clubs. <laughs> yes, they are our rivals in many respects because they're in the Premier League. But when you talk about our true rivals, what you've got to do is you've got to think about where we're going to finish in the league. The quality of player we've got in the squad. Have you actually seen our ground and the expansion that's going on? City got knocked out by Barcelona in the Champions League. And the way they're playing, there's no shame there. Chelsea get knocked out by uh, Paris Saint-Germain. Liverpool got knocked out by the equivalent probably of very under 10 girls. When you're talking about our rivals, what you got to think about really is have you seen the type of player we're in the market for? Now you've got to think about teams like Sunderland and West Ham, no disrespect to them, but they're not in the same market for the same players as us. You are, I believe, a fine troll of the week this week. Pato, was Boney a waste of money? <laughs> I mean, the guy's arrived from an African Cup of Nations. He's arrived mid-season. What you got to look at is United at the time, when they bought Vidic and Ever in the middle of a season, people were willing to write him off after the first full game, which City won. Now, what we've got to think about here is we've got to be not judging Boney over a, a such a short space of time. The guy's got a fantastic record in the Premier League for scoring goals. The guy's living in a hotel in the middle of Manchester. He's in a new team. You can't expect him just to drop in, land, and be scoring at the same rate. He's going to be a player that plays for us for many years. If you think about Pellegrini and what Pellegrini likes is his two up front when he's playing most teams. And he, we've got Aguero, best player in the Premiership, and then we've got a big man that needs to go up with him, almost like the Grado did for us last year. So, Boney, Aguero, they're going to be a formidable partnership that's going to be together for years to come. I don't know if you guys actually saw the QPR game, but how good was Boney's back heel. And Silva just banged it away. But the foresight and the vision just to get it and he stalled on it a little bit and then he just slipped the back heel through. Fooled all the QPR defenders. Fooled me to be honest as well. I didn't see that one coming. What an assist. If that's part of his game, waste of money. No chance, pal. The Invisible Man. Should we keep the likes of Rekic, Lopez and Gidetti? Or should we be loaning them out again? You've had Rekic, he's just won a championship in Holland there. Gidetti, he's won it in Scotland. Now what I'd do is I'd get them back into the squad, mix it up and see how they are. If they're of sufficient quality, great, get them in. If they're not quite up to standard, I have no issue with them loaning out again. Chelsea have got these players loaned out all over Europe, gaining experience. If you look at Courtois, he was there with Atletico Madrid and then he just fits straight back into the Chelsea team. So in many ways, loaning players out is a great way of giving players experience. We shouldn't be afraid. We've got to do whatever is best for City. If we can get some money for them and they're ready to move on, ship them on. If you look at what we can actually bring in, that's where you've got to compare it. What's going to be better, bringing in a player who's homegrown or just having one of our players that's come, good enough to come through? That's our likes of Pellegrini to decide and I trust him to make the right decision. Well that's another session of Walter's Glass Half Full done. Now if you've got any comments that you'd like to leave below and need a bit of positivity injecting into them, don't be afraid, put some down. Oh, time for another. This is Ricky the Hitman Hatton, subscribe to Blue Moon Rising TV for a knockout time.